Hey guys, this is Justin. Welcome to another video. I thought now would be a good time to revisit Halo Infinite because Season 4 just dropped and with that, I think we've reached a point in the game where, well, I, let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about it. I don't want to get ahead of myself. You guys know I love Halo. I thought Halo Infinite had the bones of a really good game. That's something that I think everyone has said at some point if they've done a video on Halo Infinite, but obviously it's launched in a bad state and in my opinion hasn't really recovered. I I think season four is an indication that it's probably not going to recover, not just in what we got in the season itself, which we will talk about, but sort of everything around it. 343 having massive layoffs. They've recently talked about the fact that they won't be doing any cinematic cutscenes anymore moving forward for the new seasons. And there's one thing that I found about a game. The community, when they smell blood in the water, when they even get the hint of a game being depreciated or winding down a bit, they move on. I saw it with Star Wars Squadrons, a game which, you know, was dead and on arrival in a way because the community knew nothing else was coming. And to be honest, you can kind of blame that on the modern state of gaming. On one hand, especially this year, there are so many good games coming out. But on the other hand, people, if they're going to invest heavily in a multiplayer experience, they want it to be a healthy live service. Fortnite, Apex Legends, games like Siege, where it feels like the developers Developers, I, I can't really speak for Siege, I just know it's popular, but it feels like the developers are behind the game and pouring resources continually into new things because if you're going to be dedicating your time to something, you want there to be more of it coming. Halo Infinite, it doesn't feel like that, it just doesn't. There was, of course, the messaging around the game, which I just talked about, but even the content that we've got in Season 4, it's pretty hard to get excited about. The new maps, cool. I like the new maps, I like the idea of new equipment, I wish more weapons would regularly be introduced, but the main selling point of this season was Infection. I just personally can't get excited over Infection because it's something you could make in Halo 3. It's a game mode I've played for dozens and dozens of hours. I've done it before, doing it in Halo Infinite, I don't know if it's going to feel any different. Now, it's a fun experience, don't get me wrong, and I think if the game were healthier and maybe had launched in a better state, these sort of updates would be okay. But the problem is, everyone has fallen off. Halo doesn't need to be retaining its player base, in my opinion, to be ultimately successful. It needs to be gaining new players. And when I've said that in past videos, I've gotten some pushback. People have said, well, why does Halo need more players? Why can't they just be happy with what they have and we've seen now 343 in its current form is obviously not earning enough money to produce the kind of content that a Halo game should have which kind of just leads me to feel like my time with Halo Infinite is pretty much done and I don't know I've got mixed feelings about that as I said I think on a basic level the game's really good the movement's good I like the feel of most of the weapons I think the balancing is pretty good I like how they mixed classic Halo gameplay and movement movement with the new features like the grappling hook, which seemed like it was going to change gaming or at least have a whole new trend of grappling hook games come out. And you know, I put a lot of time into Halo. I've got over 300 hours in the game. I got whatever the highest rank is Onyx in the first two seasons. I even ran a Halo Infinite tournament, Spartan Masters, which a lot of you guys tuned in and watched. That was so much fun. But I don't know. I'm just not finding myself excited in the game. I feel like I've done it all and there's just not enough content for me to come back to with these long seasons. And I'm not blaming the developers on this, but this is ultimately an issue with how the game launched. I think if Halo Infinite would have had Forge at launch, if it would have started integrating player maps into matchmaking earlier, if it would have had bigger hooks each season, then the game would have a high enough player base to justify, you know, big, expensive, fun things. Like if you talk about Fortnite, part of the reason why I've came back to that game, why others come back to to that game is because each season they do something really interesting not just to maintain the player base but to bring new players in now fortnite is definitely in a unique position where they'll get star wars fans in because they'll have star wars skins halo is not going to do that but i truly believe infinite could have been the king of the arena shooters for the 
early 2020s. It launched well, people were excited, but it died. I've covered that a million times. I don't want to retread old ground. And at this point, it seems obvious that ordinary seasons, they're not going to cut it. One suggestion I've seen, Chris Raygun mentioned this a couple of seasons ago, is maybe Halo Infinite needed to come off the shelves and sort of relaunch in an ultimate version. That's something some games are trying out. Multiverses is about to go off the Steam page. It'll come back later. I don't really know if that works with Halo Infinite, but what's obvious is that small incremental changes aren't going to win back the player base. They've moved on, not just to one game. They're like three other games deep at this point. Halo Infinite, it probably needs a Battle Royale or some other big scale mode to get fans back in. And I've gotten memed on for the Halo Needs a Battle Royale take before. One of my most downvoted videos on my entire YouTube channel. But in this case, I'm right. Whether it's a Battle Royale or some other big game mode, Halo Infinite needs something to bring attention back to it. Tatanka right now feels like the game's only hope, but we don't know anything about it. We just had the version of E3, whatever it's called now, in the Xbox showcase. Nothing Halo related. All Starfield, all other games, no Halo to be seen. I don't know. I just, there's so many people in the Halo community that I love and would love to see prosper. Like so many content creators, my good friend, Hidden Xperi, he makes such good content. Same with my buddy, Kevin Coolex. Like these guys should be doing better than they ever have, but Halo is just not going to take them there. Same with all the artists, writers, community lore people, everyone. Like I wish that Halo were as alive as it should be because I'd like to see what the community can actually do. With that being said, regarding the actual Season 4, Infection, it's fun. I'm a pretty big fan of the state of the playlist right now. Not a huge new fan of the new Armor Core. It's just, it's not Spartan enough for me, I guess. I'm not necessarily sold either on the new Unified Progression System. The reward is basically just emblems, which, I don't know, something the game needed to launch with and needed to work properly. I feel like most of the new maps have been pretty cool. The Quantum Locator is cool. Um, zombies, or Infection, rather. It's fun, but we've done it before. The customization is improving, lots of aspects of the game are improving. I think if Season 4 had come right after a vibrant Seasons 2 and 3, which were 3 or 4 months long, it would be fine. Right now though, I don't know. So, I'm going to end this video with just, I guess, I don't know if I want to make a statement on it, but I'm going to be moving away from Halo for a bit. I mean, that's not news. I haven't done many Halo videos since Infinite launched, but I just, I don't have desire right now. I'm not interested in the lore. I'm not really interested in just shitting on the product over and over again. What I am going to recommend, though, is that you check out many of the other Halo lore and gameplay channels on YouTube. Reward good content. Installation 00, I helped him get his start. He's doing a really cool project now where he's making basically a full Mjolnir suit. Check out his helmet video. Pretty cool. Luke and Xperia, he is doing not only Halo content, but also experimenting with other games. Totally awesome. Same thing with Kevin Coolex. I've seen there's a new ship channel called Gamma Company Mark. I'm going to be completely honest. I haven't got to catch any of his videos yet. Let me know if they're good down below. But yeah, if I'm not passionate about Halo, I'm going to take a bit of a break. Uh, maybe we'll go back and cover some aspects that I like, especially if I do another reread of the books. But that's it for now. Love you guys. See you soon.